RM B I G. Here to take you on the next right. level and move horizon. Doing something different today. Everybody keep telling me to try a place called Red Robins. So I have uh fish and chips and There's one tartar sauce, but I ordered two additional, but let's see a different side. And it comes with, this is an adult, four pieces of fish and two lemon slices. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have mac and cheese, which is sort of had uh, crumbs on it, like bread crumbs. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Two extra orders of tartar sauce. I love my tartar sauce. Especially if it's good. Jeez. So we're going to see. Like I said, this is my first time having Red Robins. So we're going to see. Uh, and we have a guacamole burger. Um with fries so and it has the these are steak fries you can always tell by the size and the cut guacamole burger with fries and once we dig into it i'll give you a little more samples of that let me move this to the side focus all on the food um so i did curbside pickup at red robins now um, I placed the order about 119. Um, they told me to be ready at 135. I arrived at Red Robin exactly at 135. Um, once you get there, they have curbside signs with a number, whichever one you park in front of. There's a number in front of the sign. You basically call that number and give them, we'll tell them what sign you're parked in front of, and they will bring it out to you. So, when I arrived, uh, like I said, I arrived at exactly 135, which is when they said the food was gonna be ready. Young lady answered the phone, very pleasant. They were very busy. Um, but she um, she was very pleasant. She said, your order will be out in a minute. And in a minute and 15 seconds, my mortar, my order, order, mortar, my order was in my hand. And the young lady who brought the order out was very, very nice. She read off everything that was on there, made sure everything was in the bag. Um, very pleasant. Uh, and yeah, so I gotta say, so far, customer service wise, I think Red uh, Red Robin did a really great job. You know, they, they met the expectations of good customer service. The phone didn't have to ring and ring when I called to say I was there, despite the fact that they, they were busy. Um, you know, and everybody who I spoke to on the phone and from the, from the lady I spoke to on the phone to the lady who brought the order out, they were very, very pleasant. It did come with a fork, a spoon, a knife, a napkin, which is important because sometimes you're gonna eat on the way home, but if not, it's very good if you're gonna stop somewhere when places make sure that everything is in the bag. Everything I ordered is in the bag. Uh, Price-wise, let me tell you how much I paid. That should probably be quicker if I had my phone. Uh, so let's see. Let's go through this before we dig into it. Let's see if Red Robins is bringing the flavor with their food. Where's my glasses? Ugh, I know they're here somewhere. I don't push them back somewhere. Here we go. All right, so. Uh, now, once you order, they do send you a confirmation email. Order ready at 135, like I told you when I got there. First ring, the lady picked up. She said, we'll be out. You ought to be ready in a minute. Like a minute, 15 minutes, 20 seconds. My food was in my hands. I was pulling off. So, the guacamole burger with the fries you get a choice whether you want pink or no pink and we'll see if it has pink when i cut into it and steak fries uh this was 12.79 12.79 now the arctic codfish and chips 
no no i side ordered i changed the chips to mac and cheese so i got mac and cheese and arctic codfish this the arctic codfish is 14.79 but since i got a mac and cheese um it was an extra dollar 49 and I got two orders of tartar, two additional side orders of tartar sauce, which there was no charge for. Pretty cool about that. So the grand total came up to be $29.07, $5 tip, $5, well, $6 tip, uh, $1.75 tax, $36.63 for everything here. All right, so with that being said, now you know the price of each meal. Let's do a taste test there's no ketchup for the fries i didn't ask but fortunately ketchup fortunately i got my own ketchup so no ketchup packs came with it i don't know if you got to ask for it i didn't ask for it so that's something to kind of keep in mind um if you order from red robins uh you get a, a nice size little portion of fries like i said there they're steak fries, so they're kind of long. They're not thick, they're kind of long, but. Mm. They're hot, they're not bad. Um, let me get one without, without ketchup on it. Because what I want to do all right the fries you know <clears throat> they just don't have like seasoning they, i mean you could tell that they put some salt on it but there's no like in like seasoned salt you can tell there's salt on them um but not bad not bad some people like their fries plain so that's fine um Let's get into the fish and chips first. <clears throat> I love tartar sauce. So before I put my tartar sauce on here, I want to taste the tartar sauce to see if the tartar sauce is um, good tartar sauce. Tartar sauce is pretty good. It's a little tart. It's not sweet. You can definitely taste like the relish, but it's really, it's a good tartar sauce for fish. And a lot of people make tartar sauce that doesn't taste good on fish. Why would you make tartar sauce that don't go good with seafood? It's, it's a really good tartar sauce. So put that to the side for a second. I want to taste the Atlantic the, uh, cod, as they call it, the Arctic cod fish. I want to see is there flavor in the actual fish. Not bad. It's pretty good. It definitely has some, you can taste the seasoning, which is nice. The fish, it's not like really thin. As you can tell, the crust from where they fried it is, is thin. So you don't have this thick crust with a little, little piece of meat. You got a nice piece of meat on the inside of there. So that is really good. Okay. You know what? Hmm. That's interesting. Um, when I ate it without, that's, hold on, let me take another bite. Cause this is kind of weird. The cod doesn't have any flavor once you put the tartar sauce on it. And it's not that the tartar sauce is overwhelming. It's just that, I don't know. It's like all of the taste goes away with the, um, with the fish, the crust. You get a little taste of the tartar sauce, but the, the, I don't know. It's like, hmm. I don't know. I'm 
I don't know, it just kind of goes away. It's weird. But we'll finish that little piece. Like I said, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that I guess I was thinking that with the tartar sauce and the seasoning I tasted when I first tasted the fish, that I'll get this like nice little blend of like the um, sort of tart taste from the tartar sauce with the fish crust, that seasoning. And I didn't get that. But like I said, it's not bad. It's just, I kind of, I think I was expecting a bigger wow inside of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't really get that. So, let's get into the burger. Now, give you a better look. Guacamole, bacon, lettuce. And before I do this, before I do this, I'm gonna have to send this to my friend. I gotta take a quick picture, so we're gonna pause for a second, or you can stay with me, either one. And I get back to the Red Redmond's feud. So, this is Okay. All right, now I got that out the way. Let's get back to what we was doing. So where is the little nay? The little nay. I probably ate over there, got cold. All right. So, remember you get an option on Red Robins, a pink, or no pink when it comes to your meat. I selected no pink, so let's see if the cook of the day gave me no pink. Okay. There you go. No pink. Now, Let me get a little taste of the meat. The meat does have like a little grill taste to it. So let's see. Okay. The burger's really nice. It's a nice burger. One thing about a lot of restaurants when you go and eat is um, you order a burger and the, the burger meat itself has no flavor. You, I mean, you can taste everything but the meat. The meat is just like texture. There's no flavor. But I will say there's a nice flavor to this. Mm. Yeah, it had like a nice char grill flavor, like a not, well, grill flavor, not char grill. Correct myself on that. Um, it's not a good, I don't, I'm saying it's not good. It doesn't have a char grill. It has a nice grilled flavor to it. So you can, you know, you get that grilled taste that you want, that a lot of people want with a burger, which is good. So that's actually a good thing. It does have bacon on it. Um, let me see. For us bacon lovers, um, okay, it has two pieces of bacon, two, yeah, two pieces of bacon that was put in the eggs across the burger, because I went to a burger place a couple of days ago and got a bacon deluxe burger, and it had the same amount of bacon this has, which is two pieces of bacon. This is advertised as a guacamole burger, not a bacon burger. So the bacon is just a little extra um, that they put on here. But overall, I like the burger. I like the fries. I just wish the fries had like a little more seasoning to them. The fish by itself, 
I think I would eat the fish with just hot sauce and not Texas Pete hot sauce so I want to do a little something extra I wasn't going to do this I just thought about it actually but what I'm going to do before I make my statement that I was going to make is we're going to try a little try with a little hot sauce that's actually better it was actually better with the hot sauce than the tartar sauce because the hot sauce you get a little bit of heat like I said it's Texas peach not that hot but you get a little bit of heat but you still got the flavor of the fish and this uh, crust on the fish from being fried versus with the tartar sauce when you put it on there it just seems to go away it's like you put it in your mouth you get a little bit of the relish taste from the tartar sauce and after that it's like nothing it's like you're sort of like an air pocket there but with the hot sauce you definitely get more flavor you definitely pick up more of the seasoning so we're call it what you want but that's what it is okay that was not handsome at all next last on our list I didn't drink anything but I wanted the flavor of the foods so mac and cheese baby mac and cheese now I'm from down south now being up here up north Food taste and seasonings are very different up north than they are down south. So, all right, you got a little crunch with the mac and cheese. Oh my God. Okay, so you do get a little crunch. Cause they got like a little crust at the top that you gotta break through. <laughs> you gotta break through that crust. So, it's pretty good. It's not cheesy. So, if you're looking for a cheesy mac and cheese, this is not going to be cheesy. Um, you definitely have the cheese in there. I'm not saying there's no cheese in there. There's cheese in here, but it's not cheesy. Um, hold on. Let me just get without the crust. Let me just get straight mac and cheese without the crust. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not feeling the mac and cheese. You get a good bit. You really do. You get a nice size cup. You get a good bit, a good bit of mac and cheese. But to be honest with you, I'm not really feeling it. Um, it's, it don't taste bad. But it doesn't catch you either. You know what I'm saying? It's like... The crust portion tastes better than the rest of the mac and cheese underneath. There's a little like crumble crust on top, like breadcrumbs that's been baked on top. That tastes better than the rest of the mac and cheese down below. The rest, the rest of the mac and cheese down below does not taste bad. It just, it's okay. It's okay. It's like, It's not something I will order again, to be honest. I really wouldn't. It ain't something I will order again. Uh, the mac and cheese. The burger, I would definitely order again. The fish, so-so. Yeah, but like I say, overall, the meal as a whole, the burger and fries, I would give about a seven and a half on the burger and fries. And that's mainly because of the burger. I do think the burger is really nice. I like the uh, flavor of the actual burger itself. Um, it, it, it's, just, it's just a nice burger. So the burger was probably my favorite. So I give a seven and a half for the uh, 
the burger and the fries. I feel like I said, I think the fry could use like a little more seasoning, but it's not bad. You can't, cause that's, that's subject to the individuals regarding the fries. Cause most people a little bit of salt and you're good, but like maybe just a tad bit more salt on the fries. The fish, um, the fish I give a six. I give a six to the fish. The fish and mac and cheese, I give a 6.5. The mac and cheese by itself, I give it like a four for the mac and cheese. Um, the tartar sauce, I, I actually like the tartar sauce. I'm just sorry it didn't really hit well with me with the uh, fish, but like I said, that could be to taste to that person. But the tartar sauce with the fish didn't really flow well for me. Um, I just feel like the fish had seasoning on the crust. It's not a seasoning be like, hmm, you know, but it's like, oh, okay. They put some, they, they did season the crust of the fish. It's not a bam in your face, like wow, you know, how it's gonna hit you. But when you put the tartar sauce on there, it's like the fish simply becomes tasteless and you get a little bit of the relish or dill inside the tartar sauce. So that's it guys that's it so if you had red robins tell me what you think or well, you know what what is your favorite dish from red robins like i say the customer service 10 outstanding outstanding and like i say would i eat there again definitely i definitely would eat at red robins again um burgers i would definitely lean more towards the burgers than i would the fish uh, mac and cheese i'm sorry i would not order that again not that it was bad, it's just not to my taste at all. So, hey, what do you guys think? Let me know if you tried Red Robins. What did you like, what you didn't like? What's your favorite dish on Red Robins? Let me know. And catch you next time. It's time to tune in. This here's so fire. Empower your voice to inspire. Yeah, R-M-B-I-G.